My name is Angela Watts. I'm a member of First Baptist Church. I've signed the statement. I had no problem with it. Um, I looked into the drama that was happening after I received your email this weekend. And um, I wish that you would clarify for anyone here or for people watching that we aren't a country club at First Baptist Church, that no one's looking for your membership card or your proof that you signed some document to attend church. Um, because I, in reading the comments, I felt there was a lot of confusion about that. And even the woman um, that, that, that spoke, that left while you were answering, she said that she didn't feel like there should be a qualification to attend mm -hmm. church. And so I think that that is something that was not relayed well through media or misunderstood through media, yeah. that there is no qualification to attend. We right. don't all have to think the same or be sin-free to right. attend I, First Baptist. That's exactly right. I, I appreciate your heart in that. I will try to make that clear. It's hard to get this through. In fact, not have anything to do with this, a dear, precious member of our congregation, wonderful person, uh, who went to the medical doctor and her MD was on her, was her reach contact. She was trying to talk to her about the Lord and invite her to church. She invited her to church. Oh, where do you go to church? Uh, I go to First Baptist. And she said, a medical doctor, I mean, this is an intelligent person, said, I don't feel comfortable going to a church that asked to see my W-2 tax form in order to attend worship. And I'm like, listen, if you thought that was a joke out there in the community, it's not. There are like smart, intelligent, effective people out there in the community who think you can't come in here without flashing your W-2. So it's hard to break through the noise on this, but I will try. So uh, here's a great analogy. If you go to a sports team, Okay, if, you, if, you, if you're on the Jaguars, or if you're on the Jaguars team, as a member of the team, you have different requirements than everybody else out in Jacksonville. There's, I don't know what those are because I don't care about sports, but, um, but I know for a fact that if you're on the Jacksonville Jaguars, that coach, is it Peterson? Look at that, okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know for a fact that Peterson requires things of the members of his team that he does not require of people eating chili dogs in the stands. I know it for a fact. Uh, this is for our members. There are things that are required of members at this church that are not required of everybody, and we don't ask anybody to flash a badge, just like anybody is welcome to come over in the stands at the Jacksonville Jaguars. So anybody is welcome to come into this room into our worship, receive our love and our care. We don't ask them to prove anything. We just want them here. And honestly, exhibit A, that that is true, is when word about this broke, the first thing I did was invite everybody to come over and let's have a chat. So, and, and that's, and listen, if you're watching this or if anybody stayed with us, I know some folks left, but if, if anybody stayed with us, I just want you to know that open invitation is not just for tonight. It's every time we're together, we'd love to have you here. And nobody's gonna ask you to, see your papers. So thank you. 